Hello, and welcome to the Pest Control Marketing Podcast with your host, me, Hal Coleman, uncensored and unplugged. Pay attention, take lots of notes, because you're going to find out exactly how to get more new customers, more referrals, and grow your business. Hal Coleman has been active in the pest control industry for over 40 years, including owning and operating his own successful pest control business for 18 years. He now devotes his time to helping other PCOs and other WCOs double, triple, and even quadruple their businesses faster than they ever imagined. Be sure to check out his website, pestcontrolmarketer.com. For more information about Hal's coaching program, you can reach him at 770-993-0004 or email him hal at halcoleman.com. Mike Stewart is known as the Internet Audio and Video Guy. Since the birth of the Internet, Mike has been showing small business owners how to get more new customers, increase their sales, and grow their businesses online using audio and video, now with iPhones and Android phones. For more information about Mike's coaching program and his online training courses, visit MikeStewartCoaching.com or email him, Mike, at InternetAudioGuide.com. Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Pest Control Marketing Podcast. This is your co-host, Hal Coleman, the Pest Control Marketer, along with your other co-host, Mike Stewart. Co-host. Are you there, Mike? I I like that. I like co-host. I like that's a nice term. Yeah, or better known as Mr. Online and Mr. Offline. Yeah, so, that's, so. That, that's it. So, so th- you're going to be talking about something that uh, really does that has a correlation to online, but what is it, Hal? Today, I want to talk about direct mail. Direct mail. Uh, and, and I want to tell you a story about, uh, if I can, about my first eye-opening experience when it came to the truth about direct mail. Our, our mutual friend and mentor, Larry Latimer, you know, who passed away a few years ago, but Larry and I talked about my pest control company. This has probably been 15 years ago, and he was asking me all the things I did to market my pest control company. And I said, well, you know, I've done uh Radio, TV, flyers, I network in the community, I uh, give out referral cards. And he said, well, uh, yeah, I'm in the yellow pages. This was prior to, you know, internet marketing, really. And the internet was a pretty new thing, and not many people understood how to make money from it at the time, but a uh, good many years ago. But anyway, he said, well, how, what kind of results do you get from all of that stuff? I said, well, to be honest, not much. I said, I've spent a fortune, uh, on advertising through the years and, you know, I make money from it, but I said, it's, it's always looking for that magic. He said, we ever done any direct mail? I said, yeah. I said, that was the worst thing. I said, uh, he said, why? I said, well, you know, I paid this. I said, as a matter of fact, I said last year, uh, I told him, I said, last year I paid this advertising company. I said, it was a guy I, I went to church with. He has a big commercial advertising business. And we just got to talking one day and he was, I told him I want to grow my business. And he said that, uh, boy, they could put me on the map. I said, he got me all fired up. And I said, he did a, a mail piece for me for pest control, a really pretty, shiny, glossy, nice looking mail piece. And I said, he said, I could expect to get a one to maybe 2% return on it, you know, conversion. Well, I got a 0.02% conversion. I spent $12,000 on that campaign and, and I, I didn't break even with it. And, uh, I, I told Larry about that and he said, well, what if I could show you uh, why it didn't work. And that kind of, <clears throat> for a minute there, I, I thought I was fixing to be presented with something like Amway or something, you know, he just had this, I don't know, something about it told me he was about to try to sell me something. I said, Larry, look, I, direct mail doesn't work well in my industry or in my town. I don't know. But he said, well, what if, if, if you could give me five minutes, I will explain to you why that didn't work. 
And he said, if you, and at the end of five minutes, if you don't understand what I've been telling you, I'll never bring it up again. I said, okay. So I had my little wristwatch, you know, my little, uh, uh, Timex Iron Man watch. I, I put the timer on. I started the stopwatch and I said, okay, go. You got five minutes. Well, in that five minute conversation, I could pretty much trace it back to that five minute conversation is where Larry changed my life because what he told me about selling and messages and, and how the brain works and what makes people buy and respond to stuff just blew me away. It made so much sense that there was no way you could miss the point. And he said, I, I tell you, I, I said, I want to know more about this. He said, well, let's do, I tell you what we'll do. He said, he said, direct mail is, is, is the most consistent and predictable form of advertising there is for a business like yours. And he said, so let's do a test with your pest control company. He said, it won't cost you a penny. He said, I'm going to give you all this free. And just to show you how it works. So we did a, we did a direct mail campaign to a thousand people now. Uh, and it was a, it was a, it, it was a, we, we did it about rats, roof rats. Uh, he said, what's the number one animals in, in the pest control business to make the hair stand up on the back of people's necks? I said, well, probably rats and snakes. And he said, what do you do? Those, I said, no, nah, we don't do anything for snakes. We'll go get a snake out of a house. But I said, we do a lot of rat work. He said, you want more? I said, yes. So here's what we did, Mike. We, Larry helped me and, and I was a pretty good writer, you know? So he, so he had me write what's called the rat letter. And it was a letter t explaining how the rats were in the, the, the metropolitan areas and they, they were, you know, they'd been increasing for years and that. A lot of homes had uh, roof rats infestations and, and didn't know it because they were up in the attic and there was a lot of insulation and they couldn't hear it. You know, blah, blah. So I wrote this letter. This letter ended up being nine pages long. And, uh, you know, people say, well, people won't read stuff like that. Well, we sent out this nine page letter to a thousand people in a big, you know, legal sized manila envelope, hand addressed them. I paid a my office manager's daughter to sit and hand address all of them. Uh, and that we put stamps on them instead of postage meters. So we had to get them opened. Right. So we sent that thing out. And when I went back and calculated all the costs involved with it, including paying my guys, uh, the time it took to do every single possible cost that I could come up with, it was involved with that campaign. We ended up making it, uh, generating a, a, a 250% net profit on that campaign. Now I'll take that any day of the week. And, uh, from that point on, I realized, uh, that, uh, you can put something on a piece of paper and send it to somebody. And if they like what you say, and if, it, and if it, if you know how to reach their, subconscious and say the right thing, they'll pick up the phone and call you. So back to direct mail. Uh, a lot of people say, well, direct mail doesn't work anymore. That's a waste of time. Well, well, you know what? It does work. And, and one thing that's good about the internet now is it has eliminated a lot of, of, uh, of snail mail and people's mailboxes out by the street because a lot of people are marketing online. So you have a better chance of getting your direct mail piece uh, read and looked at because there's not so much of it in the mailbox anymore. Like there was, uh, 20 years ago or even 10 years ago. So, uh, if you design a postcard, uh, you can do postcards, you can do flyer, you can just take a one page sales letter. Like I do this for my clients. It's just a one page sales letter. Uh, and you just try fold it over and staple it together or put a piece of tape on it. Uh, and you can, you can print a label, put it right on it and mail it to somebody. Uh, you can do big postcards, small postcards. You can do letters, you can do brochures, you can do uh, flyers, but direct mail is, 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 uh, is alive and well. And I have clients who consistently get between a one and a 2% uh, conversion 
using a one page sales letter, you know, Hey, at 2% conversion will make you a fortune. All you got to do is send a lot of them out. So, uh, so take it over, Mike, tell us more about what your thoughts are on direct mail today. Well, you know, um, there is, um, a history that I have because, you know, once again, I, I love what the internet can do. And, and one of the things that, that I've heard, um, my mentors over the years say that the internet is the cheapest place in the world to fail. You know, one of the challenges with direct mail is that you need to have, you need to get a targeted list, you know, and it's to totally legal to buy, um, a zip coded list. So in other words, homeowners within a zip coded area, you, it's, it, it's okay to put a stamp on a piece of paper and mail it, um, to people in a, in an area. But, you know, the thing is, is just because you have a piece of paper with a stamp on it that goes in somebody's mailbox, uh, you got to remember that, that out of 100 uh, pieces of mail, probably 98 of them are going to go in file 13, which is the trash can. But if 1,000 people will yield you 20 customers or 2% conversion, you should make a profit. So you have to look at it that, you know, that the, the kind of the rule of thumb has always been 2% conversion, uh, anything more than 2% conversion means that, that people really resonated with the offer. So here's where a, a lot of people fail with direct mail that I've seen over the years is that, that uh, you know, what is the goal of the piece of mail? What is the goal of that piece of mail when people get it out of the box? You tell me how. To get them to read it. Yeah, open it or read it. Open it and read it, and then to get them to, uh, the words that they read, persuade them to respond. Right, so you got to use killer direct response advertising, sales copy, headlines, colors. Um, I mean, there's all kinds of strategies that direct mail people have, have done over the years to get people to do the number one thing, not throw it in the trash, be curious enough to read. So I, anyway, I was at this conference uh, first one of the internet marketing conferences, and I had the pleasure of, of hearing Dan Kennedy speak, and he was speaking about direct mail because he's made m so many millions and millions for other people. And, of course, one of the things he said about the internet back in those days, he says the internet is nothing more than uh, direct mail with electrons. That's exactly what he said. He basically, it, the same principles of copywriting, headlines, uh, storytelling, uh, how you place things on the page. And he, and he, he it was the first time I ever heard the word sales letter. You know, he said graphic, gorgeous uh, branding ads don't work for small business. It's all about the sales copy. It's about creating urgency. And, and I'll tell you something he told me uh, that day. I was at that conference. And he said, if you use the same principles of the sales letter, of, of sales copy on a website, or really in all of your marketing, whether it's television, radio, um, uh, uh, print, direct mail, magazine ads, yellow page ads, all of those type of advertisings, those are just medias. If you don't do the sales principles, the copy principles of making people understand what you offer, the features and benefits of what you do, what's in it for them, and then a call to action, uh, you know, then you're branding or image advertising, and once again, if you're boastful advertising, um, you're not gonna you're not gonna get your two percent conversion that you need. So, I'll tell you something else that we're gonna I'm gonna put a link to here in the podcast. You need to come back to pestcontrolmarketingpodcast.com. How do you know the most famous direct mail book ever written? One of the most famous books ever written. Famous direct mail book. Mm hmm. A book about the science of direct mail. Uh, is it scientific advertising? Absolutely. By, by Claude, Claude Hopkins. By Claude yeah. Hopkins. Now, and when was that written? Do you know when that was written? In the 1800s. In the, in the, well, I think he, or I thought it was like 1918 or 1918. Well, I think he wrote it in 18, 1800. It doesn't matter. It's over 100 years old. Listen, yeah. It's over 100 years old. And every internet marketer, said, if you want to know how to sell on the internet, read Scientific Advertising by Claude Hopkins, and everywhere it says direct mail, substitute internet. And the yeah, and, 
You know, I've probably read that book three or four times. I've listened to it on audio a time or two, which if you listen to books, you get other stuff out that you miss when you were reading them and vice versa. So, but, uh, the book's only about 80 pages long. Right. I mean, and, and in fact, we got a link to it. Uh, my friend, one of the, Good. Top, one of the top internet copywriters, um, 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 and I'll have to look up, uh, I met him years ago, um, but just give me a second here. I want to tell, I want to give credit to where it's credit. He bought the domain name years ago, scientificadvertising.com. And, wow. and did you know this book is public domain? So we can send you a link. And so I challenge everyone that listens to our podcast to go to Pest Control Marketing Podcast, go to this episode and download and print out or da- or look on your computer and read scientific advertising. Um, it is just amazing how relevant because it's about the psychology and the science of doing direct mail properly. And um, it's like I said, it, uh, w- one of the things that was, are you there? I'm here. Okay. I thought we locked it. Um, Carl Galetti. Uh, Carl's a dear friend of mine. Carl is a, uh, a high end, high dollar sales copywriter. And uh, he, he introduced me to scientific advertising years ago. And a lot of the principles that Dan Kennedy, uh, David Ogilvy, J. Conrad Levinson, some of the biggest advertising heroes of all time uh, got their foundation of marketing and especially for direct mail. From scientific advertising. So since this, this episode's about um, direct mail, if you've never heard of, never read scientific advertising, you are going to do yourself a huge favor. And then everywhere it says direct mail, change it to internet and the same principles. And in fact, that's one of the things that me and my buddy Jim Edwards invented. We took the same principles from Claude Hopkins and applied it to video, online video, which became known as the video sales letter. So be aware of this stuff, folks, and embrace it. And everything you've ever heard about uh, uh, marketing uh, from a branding standpoint, you better implement these direct response, direct mail principles that Claude Hopkins documented over 100 years ago. And direct mail is not dead. Apply it to your direct mail. You'll get a good return if you do it right. If you don't, you won't. So with that, Mike, I, I'm I got to wrap it up. I got to get out of here, my friend. All right. Well, I appreciate it. We could probably talk about this in another episode. So be sure to go to the Facebook group uh, and post your questions. That's the place to post the questions and give us suggestions of things you want us to cover here in this podcast. Um, and, of course, if you want to get with Hal, he's got a phone number right there on the uh, on the website, pestcontrolmarketer.com. 770-993-004. Please call Hal and reach out and let us know that you're ready to take the next step, the next level to, to explode and skyrocket your business. And when you're ready to learn the principles that work online with the way Hal and I do it, give me a call at 770-826-3662. We'd love to hear from you. And with that, have a great day. And thanks for listening to this episode of the Pest Control Marketing Podcast. Thanks for listening to the Pest Control Marketing Podcast. Be sure to subscribe to our podcast in iTunes and on your phones and in Stitcher on your Android. But more importantly, go to our website, pestcontrolmarketingpodcast.com, subscribe to our email list to always be notified of new episodes. You're never going to want to miss what we've got coming up next, and you never know what we're going to be able to do to help you with your pest control marketing.